What's up guys, today we're gonna to talk about competitors who grossly underpriced jobs and what to do about it. What's up guys, today we are gonna to talk about all these competition, all the competition out there, right? That's just, I mean, they're slitting their own throats just to try to get some work. I don't understand it and I hope after this video you're not gonna understand it either if you happen to be one of those people. You guys, you gotta go check out markittoday.com. It's M-A-R-K-I-T today.com. Go to the website, hit them up, give them a ring. Stop letting your phone like run your entire life. Like give them the phones, let them answer and book calls for you. They're gonna do a better job than you do anyhow, I promise. Also, they build excellent, very professional, very sweet, nice looking website. So check that out. Get yourself a new, fresh, hot website for an extremely reasonable, reasonable price. Um, they also have business packages that are coming soon. Please like, subscribe, hit the thumbs up, hit that notification bell so you know when the new, newest videos drop right here on my channel, HVAC Millionaire. So let's get into it. I had the pleasure it's really not a pleasure. It's like something that makes me cringe every time I see it. But uh, I had the, I, I got to cringe a couple of times over the last week. Um, one was on a 16 sear condenser and evaporator coil change out estimate. A contractor who got, he, he, he was able to look at this estimate. Um, he did not win the estimate because obviously he didn't build enough value in it. We'll talk a little bit about that later, but here was the selling price for this coil and condenser. I know that that 16 sear condenser, identical replacement, um, was 1474 without tax. And I know the evaporator coil was 376 without tax. Um, I also know that it's gonna take a minimum of two guys three hours. So if I'm figuring, you know, $25 an hour for the lead guy and $18 an hour for a helper. I'm just saying 25 plus 18. That's $43 an hour times I'm being very conservative three hours That's gonna equal $129 You should never bid a job for three hours like that It should be four to six hours to do a coil a condenser, but I just want to show you What the profit margins are on this particular job? How about a warranty reserve? Have you ever heard of a warranty reserve? It really should be added into the job uh, when we're figuring up our cost of goods sold. So uh, because we've never heard of that and you know I am being conservative, I'm just gonna put $20 on here, right? It's probably, it's not even gonna cover one hour of labor if I have to send a qualified technician back out there for any reason at all. But I'm being extremely conservative. So we got $20. Torch vacuum nitrogen. You know, one stick of solder, um, if you're using the good stuff, like it's three bucks a stick. So, and then you got refills on your nitrogen, on your uh, acetylene and oxygen. Um, you're probably gonna do a leak test with your nitrogen afterwards. So torch vacuum nitrogen, you know, we gotta throw something in there. I'm just gonna put $35. Um, you're gonna have some miscellaneous copper fittings. $15. In all reality, we should, if it's an old thermostat, go ahead and upgrade the thermostat if somebody's getting a new air conditioning system. But I'm not gonna put that in there either. Flush, bare minimum, we should be flushing if we didn't replace the line set. So I'm gonna say 50 bucks for flush. So, well, we got whip pad disconnect. I'm gonna be extremely conservative once again, and I'm gonna say you're a cheap person and you don't see the value in that for your customer replacing those things. So if you don't see the value and you're just trying to be the lowest guy in the market, you're not gonna replace those things. It's just a wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Get in, get the work done, get out. So I'm not gonna add torch vacuum nitrogen fuses, or I'm sorry, uh, whip pad disconnect fuses. I'm not gonna add that. So you can see this is stripped down to the bare minimum. So let's just see where we're at. We got. The selling price was $29.32 minus $14.74 minus $367 minus $129 minus uh, $55 minus 
That leaves us with a gross profit of $842. 842. Now, if we take that and we divide it by our selling price, divided by 29.32, that equals 28% gross profit margin. Okay, and th and these people, these customers, they're still using the old disconnect, the old fuses, the old whip, the old pad, and it probably just looks like garbage. So they got a crappy job. Yeah, they might have got a really cheap price, but they got a really crappy job. And on top of that, how much did the contractor make? We didn't even add, wait a minute, let's redo this. We got a permit in there, right? There probably wasn't a permit pulled. But if we're at 842 minus an additional $50, 842 minus 50 is 792. So now our gross profit is 792 divided by 29.32 is 27%. We just lost another point. So we're at 27% gross profit margin. If our overhead is it's going to be somewhere between 20 and 30 percent. Now, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt, and I'm going to say it's 20 percent. So if it is 20 percent, you minus 20, that leaves us with 7 percent. 7 percent net profit. 29.32 times 0 0.07. They walked away with $205. Now, one callback and that is erased, completely erased for any reason. Now, if you, your overhead, more realistically, stop being so conservative with everything, if it's 23%, three, four, five, six, seven, now you're left with 4%. So 29, 32 times 0 0.03 or 0 0.04, 29.32 times 0 .04, $117. Net profit dollars. Net profit dollars. That's what they were left with. Do you think you can grow a business on that? Do you think you'll be able to pay your employees top dollar or have nice things? Do you, are you going to be able to give benefits that are worth anything? The answer is no. And pricing things this way, I mean, it's a one-way street and it's gonna lead to pain and eventually bankruptcy and failure. So you cannot go out pricing things like this and think that you're doing okay, period. You're not, you're not doing okay whatsoever unless you have a four or 500 man crews that are doing these all day long. Then you could actually walk away with something. Um, you're going to be doing way more volume. You know, it's a, it's kind of a different um, business model. Way more volume, slim margins. Literally, I mean, if you miss something on a bid or you fell through a ceiling on the next job for some reason, and it cost you four hundred dollars to replace the ceiling, you got to go do, you got to go sell four of these to pay for that one mistake. You can't operate like that. It, it, it it's not going to end well. The other that I was telling you about when I heard about it from a good friend of mine who was bidding against a competitor and the the person who won the job they bid it for $9,500 and you're thinking oh that's a pretty good job right well it was apples to apples exact same equipment um, it's not apples to apples but uh, because you get what you pay for in the customers when it comes to the customer but the equipment itself was apples to apples ninety five hundred dollars won the job but the actual equipment cost on and everything i'm going to just say let's say i don't think labor and material was in that but let's just say it was the actual cost for everything the equipment because this was a really high efficiency job everything was seventy one hundred dollars so let's just do the math, you know, um, 9,500 minus 7,100 is 2,400 divided by 9,500. That's a 25 
percent gross profit margin. So we just did the math on that last one, 25%. What if your overhead is 25% in the installation department? Then you made zero, zero. And I know for a fact that this job was in an attic and it's still 100 degrees there in that region of the country. So do you wanna go spend all day in a hot attic busting your hump and walk away with nothing? I mean, you might as well pull money out of your wallet and hand it over to the customer and say, I really want this job. Here's $500, can I give you $500 and let, let me do the work? Like, sure, who wouldn't do that, right? That's the thing is, in, in this contractor's mind, he probably thinks, I'm walking away with $2,400, baby. And that's false, it's not true. It's not true because he didn't factor any of his overhead what does it take for him to deliver that service? He's got to have insurance. He's got to have a phone. He's got to have a website. He probably has a little bit of marketing. He's got, you know, all these things. If he, any benefits whatsoever, like it has to be added in there. And uh, it's just, it's just business. It's not personal. So what do we do about this? What do we do about what's happening out there? Well, I've got the answer. And uh, here it is. Do not worry about it. It doesn't matter what they do because they're gonna wind up out of business anyways. So do not worry about what your competitors are doing because it doesn't matter. All that matters is that you do what you need to do so that your business can provide the life that you want period. There's nothing else to it. It's really that simple. Everything else to get you past that is up here. What's in between your ears, that's what's holding you back. That's the only thing holding you back. You think because they do this and they do that, I'm talking about your competitors, that you're not allowed to do those, to do, to do you. Well, I'm here to give you permission uh, Coach Kelly, I'm here to give you permission to do you. That's all that matters. So do you. Stop worrying about these knuckleheads out there that are, uh, they're just ignorant. They haven't learned yet. They're not in enough pain yet. But pricing things like this and pricing things on the first example at $2,900, it's going to create a lot of pain. But sometimes it takes time, especially when they're young and they're go-getters. Uh, but eventually they'll run out of steam and that's going to create pain. And I hope and wish that that happens sooner rather than later for them. Not because I want to see them go through pain. It's just because I want to see them get to that point where they make sure, where they get to this point where they're like, I am not going to operate like this anymore. And they change. Because when they change, that, that's when things start improving and they can be turned around very quickly. So I do wish them a lot of pain, not because I'm mean spirited or anything like that. I just want them to be woken up. I want them to um, realize that what they've been doing is wrong so they can see the light and, and uh, change now because the longer they keep doing this, uh, the deeper the rabbit hole goes. And it's possible, it is possible for them to get so deep that they just can't dig themselves out and then they quit. Then they really didn't serve their customers, right? The reality is guys that most contractors go out of business before the equipment that they install fails or, or sees the end of its life. That is reality. After year five, that's about all that's left. After year 10, one's left. And it's because of things like this, these little things, see their worth, see their value, raise their prices like they need to so they can do them, not worry about what the market's doing, do you, and you're gonna be better for it and you'll have a fighting chance. Business is still hard. 
you get the pricing right, business is still hard. There's a thousand moving parts in this business. So this is easy. Get this one right so you can start focus on the, on the next thing and the next thing and the next thing. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like this video. Share it with somebody who needs to see it, who needs to hear it. It's not too late. It's never too late. But why keep going like this? Why keep selling jobs like this when you don't have to? So make a change. Um, if you have any questions, reach out to me at hvacmillionaire at gmail.com. And guys, go make money. That's what we're doing. That's, what, that's why we're in this business is to make money. It's not to create pain and stress and anxiety and worry and fear about paying our bills, which is what these prices will do. So love you guys. Take care. Subscribe. Um, please subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Leave me a comment below. Thumbs up. Peace. Go make money. Boom.